We've got also some digital news oh, yeah. this week. Now, uh, one of the most popular digital card games out right now, Hearthstone, is finally receiving the standard tournament style. What this is, if you don't know, is pretty much it only you only allowed to use the cards from the most recent sets. So I believe in the in the case of Hearthstone, they said it's like the last year, the last yeah, calendar year. Correct. So what this does is it forces you to learn to adjust your decks accordingly. I've actually watched a couple videos about this because it's very interesting. Mm. Speaking, also very funny to watch them as they're trying to say like, oh, I think in Magic it's called this, but this. <laughs> Uh, in particular, because I know uh, someone actually asked, brought up one card in particular. I think it's called Dr. Boom, who's really strong. Okay. And uh, the guy in particular said, uh, like, he is pretty strong, but he's not strong enough that he's overpowered. And now that standard's in play. As a designer, he was talking about how that makes it a lot easier for a designer because, you know, right. what usually happens when you, as a designer, let's say I make a set and you don't have the standard play, you look at the set, you're like, okay, this one card, that's it. You don't right. give, but now that the flip, I can make a whole bunch of set of cards and be like, oh, now that card's vi like, so I think this is it makes it more interesting for the gamers. You know, as a designer, you feel more like your cards are being used. And it, it changes the curve in a much more manageable way. Really, in a in a for, especially in a format where most of it's free to play. I mean, you can buy packs, but yeah, it's, like I know you played it you more. You can but, get, definitely get away without spending too much right. money. Right, um, I think this is a great thing. Yeah, I, I mean, at first, I because also you know I, I don't I'm not as familiar. I don't play Magic. I don't know about right. the standard stuff. Uh, you know, I guess the the only potential bummer is if there's a card you really like and then they retire it and you can't use it no. anymore. And I mean, I have that feeling. Right. But that's why there are other ways to play. <laughs> they have the other mode where everything's right. game. It's just I think uh, st and the other thing about standard I should mention, which is great about it, it's much more inviting to new players. Oh yeah. Think about it. If you if I just joined in, who do you, which mode do you think I'm going to play? When everyone's only using the most recent set, so I have a chance to have the decent cards, or when everyone's already gathered their best cards and now are just walking around with their yeah. hunters and just decimating everyone. That makes sense. The, the other thing they also did was at now there's more slots to have your own custom decks. Mm -hmm. So that's well, that's good. needed if you're going to make more. St which I'm surpri yeah. surprised it took them this long to add those. Like, why is there even a limit? How hard is it to? I don't know. And, and I'm sure. They Either have way, um, I think. They keep making, Blizzard keeps making very good decisions with Hearthstone, I feel. I Every mean, time they have an update, I'm always like, I should get back into it, and I never do. <laughs> well, it's very hard to get into a game, collectible game, trust me. Oh, well, yeah. But, um, no, and I, I like, I mean, it's, I've, you know, I've played it for a while, and it's fun, but I just, yeah, and I don't it, have time. Yeah, so I think it's good, it's good for everyone all around. So, uh, other, another small, different digital game, mm -hmm. uh, but also related, uh, Magic the Gathering Puzzle Quest, which we talked about a few weeks yes. ago, we kind of tried it out. <laughs> Briefly, uh, they had an update also, not as big of a deal, but they added some new modes. Uh, one basically is a quick battle, so you get a pre-made deck and you can just jump into a battle against an AI opponent. The other one is uh, each Planeswalker now has five different kind of quest battles, which are different... Uh, they're different from a normal battle in that they actually have some kind of a, they change the rules a little bit, so it's more like a puzzle that you and have to It's more related to a story. I figure out, uh, yeah, so like it'll bit. be, it'll give them some kind of a, it's right. a, I think it's called heroic mode is what it is. No, I think, um, they're look, encounters or something. Judging by what we've played with it, I think that's a smart move. I mean, first of all, it's a puzzle game, giving something that's a little bit puzzles. This is a great way for Magic to throw in a little story. Because, for example, I know um, they released the origin set a little while back to explain the history. For example, the which I would call their main mascot out of all the Planeswalkers, Jace, their blue Planeswalker. Uh, we find out that he was actually a servant to a Sphinx who was using him. And then... That old story. Then finally, uh, they did like a telepathic battle. And then Jace tricked the Sphinx into his own mind, then collapsed his own head and stuff so that wiped all his memory <laughs> so like if you're there's like a puzzle like you had to actually fight the sphinx and somehow make it so you did like a chain or something right 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 so i think it's a great way to sort of m mix the story in with the game and in a way that goes out and uh, sort of it rewards people going out of the game so to speak yeah, and, but and not in a way that's too much. Like you don't get it unless you go out of the game. Right, right. Anytime you have, you can add extra modes for single player. I mean, it's never no. a bad thing. And even more so, I think nowadays, which is seen a lot, particularly in video games, because they're the ones failing at it. But like, uh, people are want to see the backstory in the games, in the world, in the stories, and giving them a way that puts it in the game. For example, I mean, like for example, in this, uh, you actually play the puzzle. Instead of being like you play a puzzle, you don't know why, and then all of a sudden you unlock a little 
book where you have to read. Like, it's actually part, your gameplay is right. part of the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's And I think cool. this is a good job of mixing the two together. I agree. We should go play it some more. Oh, um, yeah. There's a lot of things we should play. <laughs>